Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Sabi, uh, one of the founders at Stelic. It's a platform that helps students organize and discover academic pathways while they are in college. Uh, to give an overview of what we do and why we do that, I thought it's better to show uh, the intro that one of our advisors did, uh, our academic advisor, whose name is Mark Stelic, uh, at, at a conference uh, last year. So I'll just do a one-minute video of how he introduced us. Me? Um. Mark Stelic, who's the Assistant Dean of Computer Science from Carnegie Mellon, was so passionate about the next company that he flew here from Carnegie Mellon just to do this introduction. So please welcome Mark. I've never been described as a treat before, but I, I guess I'll take it. So I have, over the course of my career running the undergraduate program at Carnegie Mellon, I have graduated and advised approximately 2,700 students. Three of those are the founders of this next software system that you're going to hear about, um, ironically named Stellic. Um, as it turns out, over the course of that 25-year career, though, this was my tool for advising students and doing academic degree audits. But it, this, is, this is the state of the art for advising tools. And they suck. And so this is a problem, right? It's a problem for lots of reasons, right? Students may not graduate on time. Students may not be able to take the courses that they want. So we need better tools. And the, the platform you're going to hear about shortly allows students to dynamically plan and alter their degree path. It allows advisors to understand when students are off track and need to get into the office soon so they can make sure that they actually make adequate progress toward degree. And it allows and enables conversations around the academic experience to resolve on interesting intellectual things as opposed to mechanics of course registration. So, okay, so that gives you an idea of like why we built what we did. Um, and it's a relatable problem. Anyone who has done course scheduling or planning understands how painful and outdated the system is across the, uh, across the country. So, and, and, I, and we're not really planning for just graduation, right? We want to plan for student success. And what do I mean by student success? You graduate on time, you graduate with the skills that matter to you, and you have a job or, or a like, grad school offer after you graduate. That's what student success is really all about. Um, and it's painful for students and for institutions. So let's look at the stu student piece first. For students, when they want to plan out their academic pathway, they have to look at these 10 different resources to understand what the course catalog is, what the requirements are, what the general requirements are, when is the right time to register for classes, um, and then it's just a lot of different resources, and then you have to plan all of that, either on a manual paper, or you have to plan it on some outdated tools. And let me just show you a screenshot of those tools uh, in the industry. So this is one tool used by hundreds of universities. This is another tool, and this is the third one. Right? And that gives you an idea of where we stand. These are the leading tools to help students plan out the courses. Um, and just students do not feel engaged with that. Uh, then if you look at the process of getting advice on that plan, there's like this whole inefficient process of having meetings scheduled. And then every time you make a change to your plan, you have to schedule another meeting to understand how that works. Um, and the impact it's having on students is that one third of students do not graduate on time. And by time, I don't mean four years, I mean six years. Um, half of the students feel that their education was not worth the cost they spent, which also becomes the pain for institutions, correct? Like, and then the third issue is the students would drop out and not continue their journey in college. Now from the management side, each advisor on average is responsible for around 300 advisees. Uh, it's super hard to manage them. Then when you have to manage the tools that you have built, these outdated tools, uh, you have to hire dedicated staff to do that, which itself is problematic. Um, and there is a lack of digital relationship with students just because these tools talk in the language of databases and not in the language of interface experience for students. So we want to change that model, and, and I think to have that digital relationship, there are three different ingredients to that. Uh, number one, bring all those resources together and make it personalized for a student. Like it should recommend things to them. Um, then have a social platform around that and let advisors and mentors talk to the students uh, on one platform. So here is a glimpse of how our platform looks like. It's just one of the many things uh, Stelic offers. So this is like a four-year degree plan way. Everything is already planned out for a student based on their context and past courses. It's drag and drop. You can see how your progress changes as you do that. Super interactive, um, which helps students to empower them having their own pathways in, on their own terms, help advisors get alerts 
whenever students are off track, whenever students drop a core course and things that they think are important indicators when students are not engaged, and then help administrators to see what the course demand looks like, uh, how many students will be in, on the commencement next semester, things like that. Um, we started last year with Carnegie Mellon last May, um, and now we are alive in the, throughout their uh, uh, undergraduate and graduate program. Um, Tufts University, we started with one of the departments, and then we have since then doubled our contract size with them. Um, Elon and then Northwestern are, are some of the other schools we are currently dealing with. Um, last month, we attended one of the conferences and got like, enough leads in our pipeline that I think our summer will be very busy uh, going from now on. Um, and the, our model is a SaaS model, so we charge $15 to $25 a student per year. Setup fee varies based on the size of the university. Um, and, and I think this can really impact the 20 million students that are in higher ed right now. Um, but it's not just about academic planning, right? It's about like having the whole higher ed experience organized on one platform. Um, and there are multiple verticals that we can help them. Um, and I'm happy to talk about that after the uh, presentation on each of those verticals. Um, there are two reasons why I think we are equipped to do that and, and change that uh, ecosystem. One, that we all were recent graduates, so we understand what the today's students think about. Um, and the other piece I think important is the advisors we have got and the mentors we have got, uh, they are very well known in their field and they are helping us bridge that experience gap that we didn't have. Um, so we have advisors from, like for example, Tom Black from Johns Hopkins. Um, he has helped us connect with other uh, vice provosts and registrars, helping us understand how they can leverage the data that students can generate on a platform like this. So, so yeah, we are very excited about reimagining the way higher ed experience works for today's students, and if you have any thoughts or advice for us, uh, meet us in the marketplace later on. Thank you so much. <laughs>